Hi, today I will show you how to connect and set up any of our IP cameras from LaView. Let's get started. I will show you both ways if you have a PoE switch or if you do not have a PoE switch. Let's start if you have a PoE switch. If you have a PoE switch, you do not need a 12 volt power supply. So let's get this out of the way. Simply, you need the IP camera, PoE switch, and your router. You get a CAT5 cable. From the PoE, you will connect the uplink from the PoE to your router into any of the available ports that you have. This is the first step. Then, you get the other cable on the back of the PoE connected into any of the ports. The other end will simply go to the camera. Like so. So you have the cable from the camera to the PoE port and the uplink from the PoE to your router. On this PoE, you have dip switches which allow you to have power over ethernet. I have it in plug number one. So I will set up my dip switch for power number one. Now this PoE will provide me power through the Cat5 cable to power on the camera and I will not need a 12 volt power supply. Now let's set the camera if you do not have a PoE switch. When you don't have a PoE switch like this one, you will require a 12 volt power supply to power on the camera, or it depends. Maybe the camera takes 24 volts, so you need a 24 volt. So, simply, you get the Cat5 cable, plug it into any available ports in your router, and then plug the other side to your camera. And the power, you will connect it as well on the camera. So you have power, which is this one, and the network cable to power on the camera. Now, let's do the steps on the computer. Now, in your computer, insert the CD that came with the IP cameras, then go into computer, and you open the CD. Inside the CD, only if you have Windows 8, you do these steps, only if you have Windows 8. Right click, properties, compatibility, and you put run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 7. Also, select run this program as an administrator. Click apply and OK, then you can run it. You're going to click next, next. Make sure these two are selected. If you already have it, just click Repair. Finish. This message will only come up in Windows 8, so just close it. Click Next. And you can click Finish. Now, let's find out your IP address. On your keyboard, press Window R and the Run window comes up. Type CMD and the Command Prompt comes up. We need to find what is your IP address, so you type IPconfig. These are the settings of my IP. IPv4 subnet mask and default gateway right now copy these two settings you will need that for the ip camera you know your ip is 192.168.0.61 we need to find an available ip so we need to ping a different ip let's ping a different ip If you get these results, that means a device in your network is using this IP, so we cannot use the IP address 200. 
Let's try a different IP. If you get these results, that means this IP address is available. So now, we copy the IP address along with the subnet mask and default gateway and we can open now the software of the IP cameras. Once you open the software, the software automatically detects the IP camera and the IP address may be different from your network. So you click on the camera and you change the IP. These are the settings that we just copy from the command window. Once you type that in, the password is the default password, 12345. Once you click save, this window show come up. You close it, and now you know your IP camera is with the IP address 210. So we copy this IP, close the software, open your browser, and type the IP address that you assigned to the camera. If you get this window, you have successfully set up your IP camera. Simply type your username and password and log in.